Hello and welcome to chapter 18. This is drawing a circle or an ellipse. Now, if you don't know what an ellipse is, um, think of a rectangle, how a rectangle can be further along one side than it is on the other, and a square, which is the same on either side. Well, a circle is perfectly round. Anything else that is kind of oval shaped is an ellipse, and you code them the same way. So, I've got a graphics window set up here. Here's one, in fact, I prepared a little bit earlier. Uh, let's look at how to draw it. So, graphics window, draw, and ellipse. Now, the format here is just like drawing a square. You set the X and Y coordinates of where you start, and then you say how wide you want it to be and how high you want it to be. So, I'm going to start out 50-50. So, oops, I better type that in the right spot. Um, 50 and 50, so that's 50 pixels out and 50 pixels down. And I'm going to make it 200 um, wide and 200 high. So this is going to be a circle because it's as wide as it is high. So let's run that and see what it looks like. Okay, there you go. Now what you'll notice is in fact that that 50-50 point is out there. So in fact, the spot that you're describing at starting is kind of like if there were a box that the circle fitted into, that's the corner you're describing. The 50-50 point is actually not on the circle. So that's a little bit clunky. So if I wanted to make that an ellipse rather than a circle, I'm going to make it wider. So I'm going to make it 300 wide and 200 high. And as you see when we run it, that's what you would think of as an oval, which is a sort of ellipse. Okay, so it is your time to code. What I want you to do is adapt this code here such that we have an ellipse that is 400 pixels high and 300 pixels across. So you're creating an ellipse that is 400 pixels high and 300 pixels across. So I'll leave you to that coding. 